Hey everyone, it's Debbie Ann. I'm just here to show you guys a quick little antiquing uh, trick. Uh, but first, just an update. These are going to be put away for a little while. Uh, when I step away from a project for too long, it's hard to come back to it, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know what what that's like. Uh, so these are going to be put away. I will come back to them at a later time when I feel more inspired. And this one is almost finished. I will do a separate flip through video for this one. So obviously when working with vintage looking journals I like things to look antique. And I was trying to make the paper look old and so I just thought quickly I would try this and it's been working out really great. So all it is is I take my tape, clear tape, and um, put it on either a waxy surface or a clear plastic surface and I rub my alcohol ink on there and it just looks like old tape. So you know if you look back at old paper that's been taped together because it was ripping or you look at old photo albums and people have just like taped their photos in there. The the uh, tape was not archival back then, so everything has kind of like that yellowy brownish uh, color to it. So this is a great way to just take new supplies and make them look like they're old. One thing I want to mention about using like a waxy uh, palette like this, if you intend to use the tape right away, this will work well, but I did walk away for like a week or two one time that I had made a bunch of these and some of it was hard to peel off so it will stick depending on the quality of the tape you use it will sometimes stick to this so you kind of have to use it right away so that's why I started using these little uh, plastic sheets because then there's no there's no danger of it sticking to to this so this is like super easy I simply um, add some tape strips to the plastic. You can make them as long as you want. And it just goes faster. You make a bunch of them. It's a little harder to see on the plastic uh, what you're working with, but Just drip it down like that. And then I pat it a bit with my um, sponge. And you can keep going with this, like I just did like a very thin coat on here. But you can layer it and just add, and you can even mix your colors. You know, if you have a couple of different brown colors, you can experiment to see what looks more like old tape to you. I'm going to give this a minute to dry. Alcohol ink dries really fast, so that's the great thing about them. So then I just pull a small piece uh, the size that I want, trim it, and then I'll show you what it looks like. I add it like that. Just flip around the back. There's a little bit on the one side and on the other. So it just looks like, you know, an old envelope now that's been sitting for ages and it's gotten old. So you can see I've done some of that on uh, the cover here. A little bit over here on the edge. Same on this one right there. 
In here I've got some throughout. There's another one there. So I really like the effect and uh, I had been searching everywhere for you know maybe some washi tape or something that was already made and then I started thinking about my alcohol inks and how I, I hardly use them but they're really great for that and you can stain your metals um, with it as well. So I just wanted to share this little tip if that's something that you would like to use in your journals. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.